Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Aetna's 7 Games Journey to Neda Valer Prepare to proceed, advance further up the waterway until you reach one more huge door obstructing your way Moor your boat by following the way right off the entryway Showing up at the ocean side, you will find an armor by the campground. Unfit to kill the animal because of its fast speed, a troll will propose flanking it. To do as such, get around the hole to the close by wooden design and trust that the armor will ascend from this opening. When it shows up, toss your Leviathan Edge. At it, it ought to just make one effort to kill the animal. With the armor crushed, make a beeline for Atreus and utilize your exit to break the lock associated with the chain holding the enormous metal weight. When the weight is dropped, continue across it and communicate with the chain tracked down on the dock to bring down the initial segment of the door. Right there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Go on across the hole to the opposite side of the door and continue to freeze the spring and bones over it. Subsequent to reviewing your hatchet, follow the way left and route the two reveal games that will go after you. When crushing, reveal the close by spring and afterward freeze the primary fountain once more. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Box coming down. Once frozen, immediately review your hatchet and search for the hole in the side of the wooden design to break the lock that is holding the weight. You will have to respond rapidly to prevail with regards to steering things up around town, so it might take a couple of attempts before you are effective. After breaking the lock, move onto the weight that is currently drifting over the spring. When on top, freeze the refill fountain underneath the wheel, supporting the load to the edge above. Here, you will find one of Fasir's pumps, which is essential for an artifact set you will track down dissipated about the various domains, as well as an enormous chest that contains two forged iron and some hex silver. In the wake of stealing from the region, pull the chain to completely open the enormous metal entryway. With the door presently open, return to the boat and keep following the waterway being certain to steal from any asset, spots and barrels and road until you arrive at the city of Nidavellere. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. 